So new in Soundbooth CS4 is the ability to create a multi-track file. So now we can start to actually take multiple sound files and design sounds with Soundbooth. So I'm going to come over here and right click on this voiceover.wave and I'm going to come down here and say insert this waveform into a new multi-track file. We're going to click OK. So now what we're seeing is we see this new untitled multi-track 2 and a voiceover.wave. I'm going to select the voiceover.wave and just hit delete and not save it. So that's the original WAV file. We don't care about that anymore. We're actually going to be saving our work into a new format called an Adobe Sound file. And Adobe's new sound file also supports multiple tracks. So we're going to be able to bring a multiple track sound file into Flash, much like we can bring a multi-layered Photoshop file into InDesign or After Effects and be able to have the, all of the integrity of our sound file and be able to go back and make uh, individual changes to our sound and reload it back into Flash. So inside of our multi-track file we have our voiceover clip and notice over here we see voiceover as an individual track. If I double click on this I can go into the individual voiceover track. We can hear this track one more time and I'll click this back button to come out of what Adobe calls isolation mode. We'll see this feature in uh, Flash as well. Now I'm going to switch back out to the section 5 area. I'm going to grab the music 3.wave and I'm going to drag and drop it into the track area. Notice I get a little plus sign. Drag and drop is also supported on the Windows platform. And now we can come in here. Let's double click on music and this is the music file. Let's listen to this for a second. So the volume on that's a little bit low. I'm just going to come over here to the decibels and I'm just going to scrub this. We'll bring it up to about plus six. Bring this back. Let's hit play again. That sounds good. It's a little bit louder. Let's come to the back button here. Let's go back to our main stage area. So now this scrubber is going to play both tracks at the same time. Let's bring this out. Let's hit play. His job was simple. Keep her safe. But when a secret from her past leads to murder at the top, promises so now we to have. Threats. I'll stop it first. So now we have uh, the sound, the voiceover playing, and the music. So he says the word murder right about here. As needs to murder at the top, promises turn to threat. So just for a little uh, drama, we're going to grab the music and we're going to start the music about the time he says murder. Let's bring this back out. Let's play one more time. But when a secret from her past leads to murder at the top. Maybe drag it just a little bit further. And as you can imagine, you can do just about anything you can imagine. You can add as many sound effects, music, voiceovers, and do all of this stuff inside a sound booth.